again there, those of you that know the story, Titus just said something there that will be uh, kind of quite ironic. Is there a, there's a lot of treasure chests scattered around Luca, so you will find a fair few. But that is a pretty soul-crushing uh, welcome from the, from the commentators for, for the Besaid Aurochs. So I can understand why they, they always do badly. I mean, they're a, they're a bad enough team as it is. And uh, to get a welcome like that as well just makes it ten times worse. So a good move by Titus to, to try and lift the spirits a little bit. He's thinking along the right lines. Okay, let's find out who this Maester character is. Can't see a thing. That's a guado, right? Who could it be? Isn't that Maester Seymour? People of spirit, I thank you for your generous welcome. Rise, Maester Seymour, and all of you as well. I present to you the son of Maester Jiskel Guado, who departed for the far plain of Fort Night Pass. As some of you already know, he has been officially ordained a Maester of Yevon. I am Seymour Guado. I am honored to receive the title of Maester. In life, my father Jiskel worked to foster friendship between man and Guado. I vow to carry on his legacy and to fulfill my duties as Maester to the best of my abilities. Hmm. You too, bow your head. Sex you up, yeah? All right, last meeting before the match. Also. Hmm. A guy who looks like that with that lightning bolt style hair and the v lightning bolt vein looking things on his face, giving Uni the eyes and everything. I don't like the look of this guy. Seymour Guado, huh? Where's Waka? That the matchup draws. We had to play the Gores in the first match last year. The year before that, and the one before that, too. Well, we would have lost to anyone anyway. Captain Waka! <laughs> we're playing the Albed Sykes first. If we win, we're in the finals. That's right, we got seated. Two wins, and we're the champions. First things first, let's go over the basics again, boys. Okay, so this is a nice way to, um, to introduce the tutorial. Obviously, the first time you come, there is a lot to, 
there is a lot to know and um, it's one of these things that you'll just by the time you've played a few games you'll understand how it goes but when it's your first playthrough and you're still learning how to how to play Blitzball it's going to be very difficult to beat the, the Luka goers even with um, the jet shot so I'll try to explain all of this stuff when we actually play Blitzball and yeah we'll go from there said they saw Sir Oren in a cafe. Uh, Oren? Yes, Sir Oren. Let's go find him. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! The game starts, like, real soon. You come back quick, yeah? Hey, I'll be back. Yeah, okay. Hey, Waka, you're stiff, man. No, no, not your face. Just breathe out, relax. Okay. Like this. Just breathe, yeah. <laughs> Maybe now we can find Sir Jack. Huh? How? Sir Oren was also my father's guardian. So, he might know where Sir Jekt is. Let's go now. It didn't even occur to me to think that the RN Yuna was talking about, and the one that I knew from Xanarkin could be two different people. I don't know why, but I knew it was the same guy. I knew it was the same Oren. Yeah, I mean, too many things have happened right now for it to be anything else, and, you know, the plot is starting to thicken, so not only do we know Oren from Xanarkand, where we start off, but Oren was also Yuna's father's guardian as well, along with his own father, so it's all starting to kind of come together a little bit more, and, of course, that leaves the obvious question of how the hell are these, how the hell are people like Oren and Jekt managing to exist in both Tyrus' Xanarkand and this Spira? But eventually, hopefully, well, eventually it's all going to get revealed, so... Hey! Albed Sykes, right? Some Albed saved me the other day, and... This girl, Riku, gave me food, and... Uh... <laughs> you don't understand me, do you? Uh... Uh, anyway, if you meet Riku, tell her thanks for me. Oh, and as for the first game, may the best team win. <laughs> okay. I love the fact that he just continued talking even though they had no idea what he was talking about. Or maybe they did and they just pretended that they didn't know. Yeah, so um, once we actually start the blitzing thing and you come to understand how blitz works, then um, I'll explain why it's a little bit silly that the Aurochs have to play the Albed Sykes in the first round and why it's a bit stupid that, that Wark is actually very happy about this. But it won't really make sense to those of you guys who haven't played yet, so I'll explain it a little bit later. Oh. Okay, there should be a primer somewhere. Is it basement A or basement B? There it is. Ah, oh, I just saw it. <laughs> it was next to the guy's feet. Almost missed it. And after this, there's another primer as well, which I will get as well. And then hopefully we'll get to, to find Oren once again. It'd be good to have him back. Um... Yeah, the others aren't around yet. Okay.
<laughs> I'm sorry. Please let me through. Hey, let's go. You're really famous. We don't get separated. Yuna! Huh? Hmm? What was that? <laughs> In Xanarkin, we do this to cheer on Blitz players. You try it too. Put your fingers in your mouth like this. Like. Uh-uh. Not like that. This. Uh, then, you just blow. It's not working. Practice. Okay. Uh, hey, use that if we get separated. Then, I'll come running, okay? <laughs> well, guess we should just stick together then. Until you can do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so between these two, we're starting to get scenes that are slightly more cringeworthy. But at, at the moment, it's still kind of endearing and sweet. But as we move on and you see a scene in particular, then it's going to go completely off the scale. But we still have a little bit to go until then. Obviously, those of you experienced with the game will know exactly what I'm talking about and you'll probably just uh, go off and do something for five minutes while that happens, but... A more pressing issue is that we have an Albert Primer here as well, but it's another one of these annoying ones that I can barely see. Is it in this room, or is it... I think it's in the reception. Okay, so what is this place? This is actually a pretty cool place that, to be honest, I never really made use of or even really knew about until like much later on in my playing days. So what happens here is you can buy music spheres and you can buy movie spheres and what that does is uh, once you've pretty much done everything there is to do in the game you'll be able to come back here and you'll be able to buy all of the, the tracks on the OST and if you talk to this little guy you'll be able to buy all of the FMV videos except for the ending one I think. So then you can kind of come back and you can watch the FMVs or listen to tracks whenever whenever you want. And I'm pretty sure there's trophies related to that. But since you can't get them all until post-game and they cost quite a bit of money, we're not going to bother with them at the moment. But remember these two guys because we'll be seeing them again later on. Now where is that flipping primer? Is it on the desk? Yeah, damn it. Shit. Where is that bloody thing? There it is. I've always said it in my playthroughs, I'm not good at kind of spotting stuff and finding stuff like that. And because it's so small... Okay, I'm a tipman now. Good. Because they're small and sometimes they're quite well camouflaged, you don't always see them first time. Okay, we're done with this area for now. We can go ahead and find this cafe and hopefully Auron's just kind of chilling, having a beer and we'll be able to be reunited with our father figure slash badass. I think he's only 35 in this game but you know in Japanese anime terms he's like a grandfather so he's like a, a dad of the group. Wow! This is a pretty big town. Luca is the second largest city in Spira. I thought every town was little, you know, like Besaid and Kilika. Towns don't usually get bigger than that. Because when a lot of people start to gather... Sin? Hmm. 
What about Luca? It's safe here? It's not any different, but the stadium is here. The Crusaders fight to protect it with all their strength. They protect the stadium? Blitzball is really the only entertainment that we have. Spear us a little short on fun these days. Whoa. Talk about pressure. <laughs> That's right. Is Xanarkand like this too? Hmm. Well, there are more buildings. All tall ones. And cramped together. Oh. They must be so tall. Don't you ever get dizzy? <laughs> Let's go find Sir Oren. Yeah, you should enjoy these kind of light-hearted, silly conversations while you can, because there's going to come a time in the game where things are going to become more complicated and everything's going to be all serious, so might as well enjoy it now. <laughs> Fuck the goers. I think one of these, I think there might be two shops here actually. Okay, yeah. Rare items. And units stuck. Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. Not that I have money for it anyway. And the items I've received so far, they're not going to be worth a whole lot of money. Well, I mean, Yuna doesn't need an ability like Ice Strike. She's not going to do any physical attacking. Lulu really doesn't need that. Actually, that's pretty good. I should have that equipped. Yeah, so this is the one that we got from, uh, from the Kilika Temple Destruction Sphere. So, just from its value alone, you can tell that it's uh, it's a pretty good armor. Okay, is, is there someone here? Okay. All right, let's head in. See what Oren's up to. Long ass loading screens, man. Oren's not here. Hmm. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Why not talk, Kimari? Not see Yenke for ten years. Say something. Kimari forget Yenke? Forget Biran? Leave Kimari, Yankee. Kimari is small, Ranzo. Kimari so small, can't see Yankee and Biran's faces. <laughs> Kimari forget Ranzo, friends? We taught you much at time of Hornmund. Biran taught Kimari to be strong, Ronso. Maybe taught too much. Take him on. <laughs> oh! Take it outside. The tournament's starting. You hear? That's the game. Today, on this glorious day. Players from all over Spira have assembled here to participate in this great contest of bravery, skill, and strength. All of these fine teams, equally renowned, deserve to win the cup today. Such is the nature of this contest. Let us, the spectators, play our role accordingly. Let us sing to the glory of the winners and applaud equally the valor of the defeated. Contestants, 
May heaven be with you.